Hey everybody, this is Kristen Ziesmer, Sports Dietitian, Certified Personal Trainer, and owner of Elite Nutrition and Performance. And I am here back from maternity leave with my third child, a baby girl, and I'm very excited to be back. It feels very good to be back and back in the swing of things. So we're going to start off my video uh, series or collection with why is nutrition so contradictory and so confusing? I get this question all the time. And the first things first, we're just going to state the obvious. Uh, if you're researching things online with nutrition, people, some people just don't know what they're talking about. You know, some people um, claim to be a nutritionist and a nutritionist really does not mean anything um, in terms of being uh, an expert with nu nutrition. Uh, really, to be an expert with nutrition, you would want to be a registered dietitian, um, which takes lots of time, lots of education, hours, tests, things along those lines. Um, and so really you can't believe everything that you read on the internet, just plain and simple. Uh, number two is not everything applies to everybody. So several years ago in my office, I used to have these shelves on the wall and the shelves had different foods on there. Um, you know, just the packages that didn't have any food left in them. And I would have clients come into my office and they would ask, is that the food I'm supposed to be eating or the food I'm supposed to be staying away from? And my answer was always, it depends. And this is my answer for a lot of things. It depends. It depends on what your situation is, what your goals are, um, you know, are you an athlete? Are you not an athlete? Do you have medical conditions? Do you not have medical conditions? Uh, are you trying to lose weight? Are you trying to gain weight? Are you trying to maintain your weight? Um, whatever the case is, everything depends. So not everything is for everybody. So for somebody that um, has celiac disease, obviously they're not going to eat gluten, but for somebody that doesn't have celiac disease, is it okay for them to eat gluten? Certainly, yes, they, they can. Now, people have differing opinions on that, but uh, really, that's just the answer. You can either not eat it because you have celiac disease or you can eat it because you don't have celiac disease. Uh, same thing with if you should be drinking protein shakes. Well, that depends. Are you trying to build muscle? Are you having a hard time getting in enough protein throughout the rest of the day? Uh, are you an athlete and you are just burning through that muscle? You are a weightlifter and you need extra protein um, versus are you sedentary and you're not really doing anything, um, but maybe you're trying to lose weight and you need a little extra protein and a protein shake is the way that you can get it in because it's easy. It all depends. So not everything is for everybody. That is the bottom line. Plus, of course, you can't believe everything they read on the internet. So what I'm going to be doing over the next several weeks, months, years, whatever, um, I'm just going to be putting out more videos about nutrition and how it applies to different people. Um, the main type of person that I'm working with are athletes and active individuals. So most of those videos are going to be tailored to those people. But of course, I do work with people that... Um, are not an athlete and they, you know, maybe have some medical conditions, eating disorders, or just want to lose weight. So all these videos will really be um, tailored to, like I said, active people, but we'll throw some things in the mix. So if there's anything ever that you want to know about, you want to learn more about, feel free to send me a message and I would be happy to do a video on it. Thanks for watching guys and have a good rest of the day.